Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And that is none other than the line segment. So what is a line segment? The name itself says line segment. So it is not a line but part of a line or segment of a line. So part of a line with fixed end points. Now this is important because this is what distinguishes a line segment from a line. So how do we define a straight line? So a straight line would be nothing but a combination of points, many points joined together like this. Maybe if you put several points one after another like this, you would end up getting a straight line. Now a straight line, so when we talk about line, it means that it can extend infinitely in both directions. So basically this side and this side, it keeps on extending. So there are no end points. But when we talk about the line segment, we talk about only a certain portion of the line with fixed end points. So when you look at AB, AB is a line segment because you have fixed end points A and B. So this AB is a part of the straight line that we see on the screen. So that's a line segment. Now, have you ever played uh, the tug of war sometime or the other? Or if, if you have ever seen others playing tug of war. So what happens? You have a rope, you have two teams. So there is team A, you have a team B. So few people on one side, few people on team B and both of them stretch the rope. Now whoever, uh, you know, kind of uh, pushes it, pushes it with more force, the entire rope comes to their side and they are the winners. So that's how the game works. So here you would have seen the portion of the rope which is held in between. What is this? This could be an example of a line segment. It is a part of the line, right? So in this fashion, you can find out many examples of line segments in uh, things around you. So that's a line segment. Now, some of the examples in from our day to day life could be a ruler. So when you look at a ruler, an edge of the ruler is nothing but a line segment. So it because it has a fixed length because it has fixed end points. When you look at the lines in your notebooks, so they are also line segments. Have you ever observed this? You take a sheet of paper, fold it, and then again bring, try to bring it back. What happens? You tend to develop these kind of lines. So these are also nothing but line segments because they are of fixed length. Look at the ladder, look at the rope. So these are all examples of line segments. Now, the next challenge is how do we measure line segments? Like there could be multiple line segments. So how do we distinguish line segments from each other? By measuring them. So how do we measure line segments? Let's look at this example. Let's say that this is your home and this is your school. And there is a straight road that connects your school to your home. Okay. Now, if I want to find out the distance between your school and your home, what do I need to do? I need to find out the length of this line segment because it is a straight line segment. So if I am able to find out its length, I should be able to find out the distance between your home and your school. Let's look at this one. So the distance between your home and maybe the nearby market is this much. Right. So if I want to compare that whether your school is more far from your house or is the shop or market more far from your house. So how do I find that? So for that, I need to measure the length of this distance. I also need to measure the length of this distance and then I need to compare the two to find out which is bigger. So what we are left with is this, that is you are left with one line segment, Let, let's call this line segment as AB and another line segment, let's call this as CD. So we have to compare the length of AB and CD. So here comes the need to measure lengths of line segments. So this is why we need to measure their lengths. So how do we measure their lengths? Using a ruler, that is one very simple approach to do that. So you take a ruler and then try to measure the length. So how do we measure the length? We make sure that while measuring the length, one end of the line segment should coincide with the zero mark on the ruler. So from wherever the marking starts, so that point and 
the end point of the line segment they should exactly coincide with each other and then you focus on the other end point of the line and see and read it look at its reading so here the reading is approximately 13 centimeters now in a similar way you can find out the length of the other line segment and here you see it is almost 19.5 so you can see that cd in this case is greater than ab so you can see that the distance of uh, the market is more than the distance of the school from home. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.